Hey, my name's Vanessa Hill. I work at East Point. I'm a community relations specialist and also an RN. Today our topic is understanding and managing depression. So when we think about depression, depression's common. And sometimes it can be serious. There are people that suffer with depression that never seek treatment and they get better. But there are also people that have depression that they need to either talk to somebody or take medicine. But the good news is, even the most severe cases of depression, you most of the time, it gets better with treatment. In fact, depression is one of the most treatable of all the mental illnesses. Sometimes we'll get up and we'll say, oh, I'm so depressed today. No, you're blue or sad today um, because to be diagnosed with depression, it has to be two weeks in duration, and it usually affects our activities of daily living. And you think about, what do we do for our activities of daily living? Think about sleep. When you have depression, you're either not going to sleep enough or you're going to sleep too much. When you eat, you're either not going to eat, you don't have an appetite, or you're going to eat everything that's not nailed down. If you can get your hands on it, you're going to eat. Neither one of those is good. But when you have depression, it affects your daily life. And not only does it affect you, it affects your loved ones too. So some people think that genetics plays a part in depression. You think of children or siblings or parents of people that have severe depression, they're much more likely to have depression than the general population. Now that doesn't mean if somebody in your family suffers with depression that you're going to get it. It's just a higher risk factor. And despite all that, the researchers have not been able to find what they call a depression gene when they look at our DNA. When you think about biological factors, you know, our brain, there's chemicals in our brain that we use to communicate and sometimes they get out of balance when we're depressed. The other thing is, you know, it's like a lot of other things, the brain is affected by depression. Almost all our brain is affected. Think of all the sensory things that we feel that comes from our brain. That can be affected by depression. Think about the high levels of uh, executive function that goes on in our brain. We can't talk if our brain's not working. We can't move if our brain's not working. And depression affects that. Think about our long-term memory. You know, uh, we may not remember things if we're depressed. We may have trouble with concentration if we're depressed. And the other thing is uh, depression is associated with anger, fear, we can be sad, and, and just like being sad, we can have trouble feeling pleasure too. So there's some psychological factors. You know, are we lonely? Does that have something to do with it? Are we unhappy with our significant other? Have we been through a traumatic event, whether it's a divorce, um, unhappy working environment? Think about what we're going through with COVID. How many people stayed home and they didn't get paid, they didn't have a job? Do you think that can cause depression? When you don't know if you're going to have rent money, your car payment, uh, you know, are they going to cut my electricity off? It could be the loss of a loved one. You know, we've had people that have died during all this virus. You can't even go to the hospital to see somebody. Uh, you can't be with them. So that can definitely cause depression. And the other thing that we have to keep in mind is when we're adults, we can suffer depression by things that happened in our childhood. And we're learning a lot more about uh, how that happens. You know, childhood abuse, it could be demanding parents. It could be that we lost one or both of our parents. And it doesn't have to be that they died. It could be from divorce and you just don't ever get to see them. Some of the personality traits that happen when we get depressed. Think about, are you pessimistic or are you optimistic? That can really have a lot to do with how we feel. You know, it's the proverbial, that glass, is it half full or is it half empty? 
you know, do we have that perfectionistic attitude? If it's not perfect, I can't do it. If I'm not perfect, I don't want to do it. Could be that we have that inability to trust people. We have that emotional dependence on others. You have to be happy with me or I'm not happy. You have to be okay for me to be happy. That's not really he healthy. And that can affect our levels of self-esteem. Some environmental factors that can happen is medication. There are a lot of prescription drugs that affect the chemicals in our brain. That's what they're for, is to affect the chemicals, but that can trigger depression. And the medications that can cause that, acne medication. You know, you think, what in the world does that have to do with depression? But that medication can trigger that. High blood pressure, our contraception, Parkinson's disease, our stomach medicine, and think about what happens usually in the fall months. We go back to daylight savings time, and what happens? We go to work in the dark, we come home in the dark, and so there's an imbalance. It affects our circadian rhythm. When it's dark at five o'clock, if you're like me, if it's dark outside, it's time to go to bed, right? If it's light, then we want to get up. But when you're thinking about you're getting up and going to bed when it's dark, that can really affect the way we feel. So when we think about the signs and symptoms of depression, it's that persistent feeling. You know, we all get uh, sad sometimes or anxious, but you just can't get rid of that empty feeling no matter what you do. We have that hopelessness. You know, we feel guilty. We're there is not one redeeming quality that we can think of. We just feel worthless or helpless. And if somebody comes in the room and talks to us, I just can't deal with you. I'm irritable because I'm not happy with myself. I'm not going to be happy with you. Some of the things that we used to love to do, whether it was sewing, knitting, gardening, uh, golf, Whatever that looked like, we don't even want to do that anymore. Just doesn't bring us any pleasure. You know, it's, it's too much trouble. And we're going to get tired. You know, you can get up, go to the kitchen, get you some breakfast, and you're exhausted. It's time to go to bed. And then, you know, sometimes it's overeating or not eating enough. We're not getting those nutrients that we need. Depression can make us have difficulty concentrating. You know, we may not remember the details we're supposed to. How am I supposed to make a decision if I just can't concentrate? I, you know, I don't, I don't even care. Insomnia. You know, we're either sleeping too much, not sleeping enough. And we can have thoughts of suicide or dying. And we'll talk about that later. But that's really important to pay attention to if you feel that way or somebody you love feels that way. And the other thing about depression, it can manifest itself in actual pain in our body. You know, it can be those aches and pains. We may have headaches, our stomach may hurt, but we want to keep track of those, uh, what's going on with us. So what do we do if we have those feelings? The first thing is go to a doctor. When we talk about depression and getting treatment, that's a quality of life issue. If you feel horrible all the time, if you don't feel like doing anything, nothing's pleasurable anymore, that, you know, you don't, why would you wanna go on living? You, so you wanna get to the doctor and it could be your medication. It could be just as simple as them changing medications. It could be that you have a virus, could be your thyroid. So it's important to rule out the medical stuff and because you don't want to let that go and a doctor can rule out those things and the other thing that's important is that he take a history you know have you ever felt this way before anybody in your family ever felt this way before how long have you been feeling that way also what what did you do to make you feel better you know was there anything you could do uh was it doing something um and is there a family history you know, are you using drugs or alcohol? You know, it could be prescription. We need to know all that thing. They're, they're not trying to make a judgment call. They just have to have all the information to make the correct diagnosis. So depressive illnesses, even the most severe, are highly treatable. But it's just like anything else, the earlier we catch it, 
the better off you are. You may have a reoccurrence of depression. It could be that you have it for several months or a year. You can go off your medicine. You don't have to talk to anybody. And then it could come back. Something's triggered it. It could be the medications that you're on. Could be that you need a medication for depression. We have to get to the place. If I told you right now that I was suffering from the COVID-19 virus, you wouldn't think anything about it. You'd feel sorry for me. But if I told you I had depression, how many of us would say, oh, just get over it. Get up and go and do what you need to. Well, it's not that easy. You can't just pull yourself up. A lot of times you may need help doing that. So where can we get help? In East Point is always available. You can call East Point's number 24 hours a day, 365 days a week. East Point's number is 800-913-6109. For those of you that live in Wayne County, during the hours of 8 to 5, we have a crisis walk-in center, Waynesboro Family Clinic on Wayne Memorial Drive, and you can go there. However, if, if you are having thoughts of suicide or you want to die or one of your loved ones is thinking that, it's an emergency. Call 911. Please don't leave that person alone. Uh, remember, thoughts or actual harm to self or others is an emergency, and we want to get that taken care of. We also, it could be just something as simple as a healthy lifestyle. You know, are we watching what we eat? Are we exercising? You know, we're all busy, but are we taking time out for to do something fun or enjoyable? You know, we talk about you need socialization so you don't isolate yourself. That's not real easy to do right now because we're isolating from each other. You know, we, we don't want to, we want to maintain that six foot distance. It's hard to hug somebody when you're six foot apart. And you know, that, that can be really hard for some people. The stronger support system we have, the better off we are because you have people that you can rely on. You know, think about your family members, your friends. Is that a strong support? There are some times when our friends and our family is not who we need to talk to. They can, that's what's stressing us. And, you know, we need to be able to own that too. But we got to be able to relax. So, in summary, depression is very common, but it can be serious. It can be caused by a combination of factors. And it interferes with our daily life, every part of our daily life. And it can cause pain not only for us, but the ones we love. The most important thing to remember, though, is if you have feelings of, suicide or you want to die or you know somebody that's having thoughts of suicide or wanting to die, it's an emergency. Please call 911. Get treatment at the earliest sign that you can. You know, none of us want to go to the doctor. That's not the first thing on our list. Oh boy, I get to go to the doctor today. But, you know, we depression is treatable and the earlier we get treated, the better it is. And it could be that you need long-term maintenance to prevent a relapse. And we want to think, I don't want to take medicine for depression the rest of my life. But again, we wouldn't, if we had high blood pressure, we would take medicine for the rest of our life. If we had a heart condition, we would take medicine. And we have to think about depression the same way. It's something that keeps me happy. The other thing is famous people, if you think you're the only one dealing with this, Ashley Judd, Ben Stiller, you know, Ben Stiller's funny, but he suffered with depression. Could be, uh, they think that uh, Abraham Lincoln had depression. So just don't think you're going through this alone. Other people had this too. Thank you.